Can I do the intro? <clears throat> no, Mike, I want to do it. Yeah, sorry. Get your face off there, Mike. I'm doing really the intro talk, today. I really want to talk about this one. Well, John was saying that he really wants to talk about this. I don't actually know what the story is yet. So today's not so quick of update. <laughs> you don't even know what the story is. I don't know what the story is. Wait, that was just... so good. That's actually like S tier. I got to give it to Peter. Like that is how you talk about an article. Wow, what a transition. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. I'm here um, <laughs> no. Yeah, Samsung bricks. I have to figure out how to edit and... this. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Uh, what are you talking just about? Go, just, go, just go, just go, just go. Just roll with it. You go. Oh, you want job. me to keep going? Okay, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, so um, and go. So Samsung, uh, Samsung is breaking smart TVs, and I think that the title is kind sorry. of like, it is kind of a shitty title, but the truth is that there's some major implications here, and. Um, I wanted to talk about this specifically where I guess a warehouse full of Samsung TVs in South Africa were stolen and Samsung pushed an update to all their TVs. This is like, un, you know, completely un, 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 uh, unrequested from users. They pushed an update to all TVs that were on, you know, connected that basically said, do you have the serial number? If yes, then uh, disable all function, including even like basic television function. No smart TV, no basic TV. Just breaking the whole thing. Now, awesome. at first, uh, right, exactly. So initially people's reactions are like, wow, that's fantastic. Like this is gonna thwart crime. But like, it's really not because one, if those TVs aren't connected to a network, they're still functioning. So let's say I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, I don't know, some dude in South Africa who wants to buy a TV on the cheap. And I find this guy on whatever the South African Craigslist is, might just be Craigslist, not sure if they use it there. <laughs> and I find this super cheap deal for a sick TV. I go there, I test it. He shows me that it's working. Okay. Uh, turns it on, goes on the remote, plugs in the HDMI cable. Everything is great. I take it home. And because I'm a smart TV uh, user and I like things spying on me, I plug it into the internet. Instantly, boom, connects to the servers, gets the update. Now I'm out X amount of money and a TV. How is yeah, this well, fair? Yeah. I mean, How is that's, this fair? Uh, but... Uh, Buying stolen merchandise is illegal, at least in the U.S. How right? am I? How am I supposed to know it was stolen to begin with? Ignorance of the like, law hey. is no excuse. Well, it's not ignorance of the law. Okay. No, you you don't know. Well, you don't know. But I mean, right? Show me a receipt. You, I right? for threw. I threw it away. Yeah, sucks yeah, to be sucks me to be for you. sure. This is also the fact that a TV company can just like sl slurp themselves into my network and install this on a device I purchased. Don't fucking update my shit without my yeah. approval. Who are you? No. Bad. No. I like it. But uh, it's... Really? It's, uh, yeah. I mean, my advice to anybody who has a smart TV is never plug it into the internet. Sorry, Dad, if you're watching, because well, then it's not uh, a smart TV. I bought you a smart TV and didn't tell you to, not to do that. <laughs> um, but um, <laughs> Did you buy it from a dodgy South African? And he no, showed I, you I the... No, he, he was uh, he was Irish. It's fine, but um, oh, okay. yeah, it's a totally different situation. Did that? Um, <laughs> so you, well, still moving on, moving TV. on, M moving brief, <laughs> quickly on. Um, yes, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Sucks, but um, what are you gonna do? Don't buy Samsung TVs. Some people are gonna buy it. Yeah. I think it makes financial sense in the end. I. Feel like it, right? I, I don't like think it makes. The, I don't make. I don't think it makes any sense at all. To, to Samsung, it does. Right, but Samsung is a shit brand who is okay. clearly doing this. This is not okay for consumers. Like we, if I'm still a customer of yours, this will enable me to to use certain services that you provide. If anything, well, 
Why now I don't want to use Samsung. Samsung. So, so John, well, <laughs> no. so let's say Sorry. you found out that you did buy a stolen TV. It wasn't bricked, yeah. but right. you know they throw up an alert that says, "Hey, this TV has been stolen." FYI, no consequences. Still works. Whatever. You just get now. You know it's stolen, though. Do you care? Why would I care? It's a it's a TV. Okay. Doesn't matter. I bought it with my money, right? Like I have paid for this device. Samsung, the conglomerate worth billions of dollars, if they have to worry about a warehouse worth worth of TVs, like to the point of installing, I don't even know what to call it. This is like malware. Honestly, what if it was I a, don't like this. Well, it came with an it. artisan. Like a, a, a small hobbyist who it had was selling you his custom uh, steampunk mobile phone uh, yeah. that was engraved with Jayco Hizzle, the, the wow. bestest um, in the bizzle. Okay. And uh, he had installed, also installed the, the, the ability to uh, disable it if it was stolen. So, so Peter, Apple, Apple are offers to- the service. Are, are we to believe in this scenario that there is a warehouse of Jayco Hizzle bespoke phones <laughs> that has been compromised no, just, and John just happened just to buy one of those compromised phones? Is that the scenario? Well, they're here? not compromised, right? They're not compromised. But 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 what Peter is what Peter is um, creating an example, to. yeah, to <laughs> say <laughs> is what Apple already provides with with <laughs> lost my device. Lost my device allows you to remotely no. lock. No, that wasn't what I was trying to say. I was trying to look at it in terms of scale. It sucks that Samsung could do this because they can do it en, en masse to lots of different people. Now they've got a big warehouse and they're a billionaire company. But if there's someone who's making bespoke devices, which also have this functionality, but let's say they only make 50 of them and sell them okay. to, you know, is it okay for them to do the same thing? Is it the act itself which sucks or is it the scale in the company that sucks? I do not like anyone, small or big, entering my network and cr- updating, force updating my systems without my knowledge. Yeah. That scares me. Yeah, that does suck. What about I if they like told that. you about it? I quite like John's, uh, John, sorry, Mike's example of like, it just displayed this TV is solo. Um, okay. What about if they said to you, hey, listen, we're selling you this, and if it gets stolen, we're going to brick it. Um, and it was all very clear. It was like embossed on the frame or something. Yeah, but now I- that's theft of a person, not a company. Right, so you're jumping, you're jumping yet another. You're 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 kind of skipping a step here. Well, okay. I guess you're taking an extra step, not skipping, which is now it's individual theft, and not um, theft from a corporation or, or a company. From so a, it's okay this, to steal from anti- a company. It's just not, not okay to steal, from, okay a to steal. from a person. Not saying it's okay to steal. Where do you, where do you, where do you, you hear that guy? John is a professional burglar. Yeah. And spends his weekends ransacking warehouses for the Samsung TVs. Yeah. You heard it here first. But not houses, Arr, so it's fine. It's a pirate's no, life yeah. for me. I feel like I feel like I'm okay with it in principle, but it would well, be super thing, easy to abuse. So John's a, rampant theft career is a, is a you know. <laughs> right, I'm fine this, with who does with this it, protect? It, who does it protect? Well, Presumably, it protects everyone with a Samsung TV because there's less incentive to steal one if you know that they're not going to be valuable on the resale market. But they are valuable on a resale market. Not Again, once everybody knows they'll get guys, bricked. I just proved to you guys that as long as I can just show some <laughs> poor dude or dudette that I plug in the TV and it works with the remote. Here's Here's the Avengers in 4K. Running yeah, I, perfectly crisp. I hear you. I'm not going to be like, can you show me its network capabilities? Yeah, I'm going to be I, like, looks good because I don't want to talk to this dodgy dude. You buy shit off Craigslist, buyer beware. No, That's no, how it disagree, works. 100%. This is not consumer protection. This is like Samsung protection. So, so, this is what that is. Okay, so... Uh, I disagree with you on that, but we can set that aside. I think the other issue, though, is that it's something that could be compromised. So Samsung has the ability to do this. Presumably, yes. somebody could break into Samsung network and sure. brick every TV because they have this yeah, capability. Not, I wasn't even going to bring they supply will. chains. I wasn't even going to bring supply chain into this. But yes, someone yeah. could push a super sketch update. They will. For sure. And 
it's, so this is the problem, right? With with forced updates, when you have a no consent update, that instantly creates a huge vulnerability in all of these systems, in all of these uh, TVs. Because if me as the user, if I don't have a choice to say, wait, actually, I'm not going to update, which is a very common IT policy across organizations, is to say, we're not going to update for a month or two months. And then let's see how it goes. Um, we're going to let all the other poor people who want to update instantly report the issues they find. Um, that sucks. And oh, there's instead, an update? And that's Install. exactly why would I update? You know, I have a, a few Black Fridays ago, there was a great deal on an Amazon TV. And the Amazon TV, it's like the Fire TV, but it's inside of the television. It's a 4K TV for $200. And I was like, I need a new TV. So I bought it. Guess how many times that TV has been connected to the network? Zero. Never? That's okay. the number. So, okay. I, so again, I'm I, sorry, Dad. <laughs> I can't. Why, I can't why say... would I? Why would I allow them into my network? They've clearly yeah. shown that they are super sketch. All of these smart TVs are super yeah. sketch. No, thank you. Which is to, uh, which is totally fine. Do that. I, I and I can't maybe voice why I think it's different. No consent updates on my PC. I would be very upset about. No consent mm -hmm. updates on an IoT device, refrigerator, television, whatever. That just I'm doesn't feel the same to me. It. Yeah, I, I hear you. Um, no, I, I think I actually violently disagree with John, I'm afraid. Sorry, mate. Um, <laughs> I think that auto updates on IoT devices are a necessary evil. Yeah. I don't like the fact that there's a possibility that they can brick stuff. I need to be able to enable auto updates. I'll meet you there. What's the difference? You'll just do that straight away, right? If I'm a, if I'm if I'm you and I'm like I like auto updates on my IoT shit, then you yeah. can do that. Enable your auto updates. But if I'm me and I'm like, don't fucking enter my network without my I'm consent, not, then I'm gonna disable that. But this okay. isn't even I, necessarily I an update. Well, yeah. this is an update. No, this I think is it's an the backdoor thing. The backdoor functionality existing is gonna allow hackers to to get in sure. that way. Hundred percent. And then break other people's but, PCs. But in this case, it's just a phone home scenario. They didn't have to install new software to make this happen. The TV checked yeah. in and said, oh, shit, I've got an invalid serial number. Goodbye. No, they did it, but they did install an, like a bricker. If you but know. not as an update. It Otherwise, came out of the factory that way. Does it matter? No, it didn't come out of the No, it, it does not matter. come out of the factory. Does it matter? With the capability to brick itself, it did. Yeah, see? Samsung proceeded to implement a little-known feature called TV block. Right, but it was already on the. I don't. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. This Maybe was it's the, the wording. You know, does it rain <laughs> and then the streets get wet, or the streets wet when it rains? Anyway. Oh man. Um, my point is, and what I wanted to loop back to. This is the final thing I wanted to say. And we'll is, give you the last word the reason, on this, John. Even though we both okay, strongly okay. disagree, you can say whatever you want. We will not rebut. Okay. Even though. Okay. What Make Mike said regarding computers, auto updates, whatever. Apple allows us to do this, lost device. You lost your device, you can lock it in. What, what does that say? No, I can't tell. Oh, is that a smiley face? Um, Sorry, you can't say it very well, but um, yes, it's meant to be oh, me. Oh, it's a smiley face. <laughs> Sorry, terrible. And the reason we're cool with that is because it's personal data. This TV, all it does is just act like a television, right? It's just, it's just a screen. No, no, I don't care. I should, you should not be able to do this. It's a very, um, it's a very annoying. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. That's all I got. Okay. All right. John gets the final word. See you later. <laughs>